Hello, this is an audit of CoLaw. This is an organisation operating in the Midlands providing health and safety and employment law guidelines, advice and training to businesses. This is a non-responsive website using a content management system which we're not actually sure of. The, the manager who has been charged with the maintenance and upkeep of this site isn't actually sure what the CMS is, but we both agree that it really needs to be WordPress and certainly it needs to be mobile responsive. So I'll be converting this into a site which displays well across all devices and I'll also be adding some custom stuff to it so we can have a custom post type in WordPress for the events. If you look here, we've got these events pages, which they're okay, but if we go through each of them, you can see, well, I can see anyway, there's a lot of inconsistencies. Um, sometimes it says book now, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes there's an email address, sometimes there isn't. So what I propose to do is a custom post type with fields which all need to be filled out as a requirement and that custom post type will enable consistency and ease of use in the WordPress dashboard. We've also got a blog. I know that not all of these blog entries will be used on the new site so I'll be taking the selected blog entries and formatting them, making them a bit easier to read assigning categories and tags which is what you can do in WordPress the advantages of taxonomies uh, we've also got a resources page these are downloadable PDFs um, so I'll just be adding those to um, uh, a page in WordPress called resources and then I'll add sub pages from the resources page called employment law resources and health and safety resources so that will be the the silo website architecture, a page and a sub page and you know that's how it works, uh, that's the silo uh, structure. We've got an about us page, pretty run of the mill, might benefit from imagery. We've got a contact us page with a basic Google map, the address, again I, I can make this a lot better, I can make the phone numbers bigger for one. There should probably also be a link to the actual Google map if for some reason the iframe doesn't load it's always useful to uh, link out to where the, the media is. News, now news that's pretty much part of the blog feed in my opinion that could just be uh, uh, its own taxonomy so we, we'd have colaw.co.uk forward slash category forward slash news um, so the two main, the two important parts of the website are employment law and health and safety law. So if you click employment law, you can see that it's got this custom sidebar. And if I click that, you get a fly out menu with even more stuff. And if I click that, so it's drilling down again in this silo structure. Ad hoc services, it's the same kind of thing. You're drilling down pages with sub pages with sub pages and so on. It's the same with health and safety. So what we need to do here is create custom sidebars in WordPress. So whenever you create a particular page, and these will be pages, not posts, you assign a custom sidebar and the sidebar will be made using WordPress widgets. So there'll be a lot of HTML there. Finally, let's just go back to the home page and let me just say that I will be using, I will be recreating a slider but with different images but without some of these overlays. Um, when it comes to mobile, you've got to kind of strip away what is not strictly necessary, if not for the mobile experience, for the user, at least for page speed to curry some favor with the Google algorithm. We've got these opt-in forms. I'll be, I'll be recreating those in contact form seven. And we've also got, what else do we have? We had, now I saw uh, an email opt-in form. Ah, there we go. So, um, no, sorry, that's not it. That's it there, sign up for our newsletter. I'll be 
creating an opt-in form and um, Color are going to be using Infusionsoft so I'll make sure that Infusionsoft works with the, the opt-in form that I propose to use so all in all it's going to be a better site it's going to be faster it's going to be easier for the user to look at and it's going to be easier for the webmaster to update I'll get back to you shortly with the video showing the final completed newly mobile optimized Color website. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.